Halo 4 is the first Halo game not made by franchise originators Bungie, but instead Microsoft's own 343 Industries. I think it's fair to say one of the big questions on the minds of fans everywhere leading up to this release is, does it really feel like a Halo game? I think the answer is yes. Halo 4's opening scenes, which see the Master Chief waking from cryo sleep, fighting through a covenant-infested UNSC ship, and then crash landing on a mysterious world, pleasantly recall the first scenes from the original Halo Combat Evolved. It's a happy homage to the series' roots. We're also given our deepest glimpse yet into the Master Chief, at least in a game anyways, who and what the artificial intelligence Cortana is, and the unlikely bond these two iconic characters share. And folks who have followed the series' peripheral materials will be happy to know that it draws from and makes reference to plenty of concepts from the Halo books, comics, and animated and live-action shows. And the campaign levels are clearly based on Halo's distinct design philosophy. Outdoor environments tend to be wide open and filled with vehicles just begging for a driver, and indoor alien locations have that idiosyncratic geometric flair recognizable from our previous adventures through Covenant ships and Forerunner installations. Multiplayer is instantly familiar too, and not just thanks to the inclusion of at least one memorable map from a previous Halo game. There's also a healthy roster of recognizable modes like Oddball and King of the Hill, some fun returning abilities including jetpacks and holograms, and a nice range of unlockable armor bits to let players personalize their Spartans, as they have in previous Halo games. It also brings back the Forge to let you customize your own maps, as well as a theater mode that allows players to save and edit photos and videos of their favorite moments. The first one I recorded was a 20-kill scorpion rampage I went on against some of my fellow journalists. There's some fresh here too, of course, including a compelling new galactic menace, powerful new weapons and vehicles, and of course, serialized online co-op play. You can read all about this stuff in Post Arcade's comprehensive review online. But if you're worried about whether Halo 4 feels like Halo, worry no more. It almost feels like the Master Chief never left. For Post Arcade, I'm Chad Zapia.